So you're sure you want to work in the aerospace field, whether it's on rockets, airplanes, fighter jets, or drones, but you're not sure what degree will land you your dream job, but I'm here to help you make that choice. First off, I'd like to welcome you to the Steminist Network. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Steminist Network. Disclaimer, I may be a bit biased because I have a mechanical engineering degree and I'm working in the aerospace industry on rockets as a launch operations engineer. Let's start by breaking down each degree. Mechanical engineering in a nutshell is the study of any system or object that is in motion. That can be anything from the human body to rockets. The broadness of this degree allows it to mold you into the perfect candidate for either the biomedical industry, the automotive industry, the aerospace industry, the oil and gas industry, just to name a few. So as we can see, this degree is very flexible when it comes to job opportunities. For example, let's take a look at a job posting that was published a few days ago from Apple on Indeed.com. As you can see, the education requirements show a Master of Science or Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Therefore, for this particular job, the Mechanical Engineering degree is the better choice. Now I know you may be thinking, why is she showing us this? This job isn't even related to aerospace engineering. The reason why I show you this though is because you never know. What if one day you decide and you wake up and you're like, you know what, I don't want to be an aerospace engineer anymore. Well, with a mechanical engineering degree, you can go ahead and take on jobs just like the one I showed you. I must mention that because of this degree, I was able to get the coolest experiences through internships such as General Electric and Walt Disney World. And I know they're not aerospace related, but through those experiences, I've learned how adaptable I can be to any environment. Okay, now aerospace engineering is broken up into two main branches. The first one being aeronautical engineering, which involves aircraft such as airplanes and helicopters. The second main branch is astronautical engineering, which involves the study of spacecrafts. Many aerospace engineers work for government agencies such as NASA, the Army, the US Navy, or they also work for government contractors such as Lockheed Martin or Boeing. In the past few years, there's been a boom in the private sector of the aerospace field with companies such as Blue Origin and SpaceX. So these are other employment opportunities for aerospace engineers. Although I must add that mechanical engineers can probably get jobs at all the companies we just mentioned. If it is an entry level position, then a mechanical engineering student can potentially have more experience than the aerospace student. Maybe they were more involved in projects throughout their college years. Therefore, it is evident that the mechanical engineering student would likely be the better candidate for a position. Now, let's say we're talking about a position that requires five or more years of propulsion design experience. Let's say, for example, the aerospace engineer has six years of quality engineering experience and the mechanical engineer has six years of propulsion design experience. So at this point, it is evident that the recruiter will likely focus on the experience rather than the degree on the resume. This is a great example of a mechanical engineer using their experience to their advantage and getting the aerospace engineering job of their dreams. Now, if you are 100% sure that you wanna work in the aerospace field for the rest of your career, and you know you won't mind moving to wherever there is a job available, then pursuing that aerospace engineering degree is the right choice for you. Personally, I decided to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering because I love the flexibility of the degree. I know that if I ever have to relocate to a location where there are no aerospace companies, I am sure that I will still be able to find a job as a mechanical engineer. These are both extremely rewarding careers. There is always something happening that is new and exciting and pushing the envelope of innovation and technology. Regardless of which of the two degrees you pursue, you can be involved in this. Still not sure which degree to pursue? Let me give you some tips to help you make that choice. First off, make sure to get some real life work experience through an internship. Through this, you'll be able to see what the day-to-day -day in the life of that job is really like and if you can picture yourself doing it for the next 20, 30, or even 40 years. Another way to know what you really like working on and something you can start as of now is to get involved in projects at your university. 
This can be through organizations and clubs that are either building model rockets or airplanes. And through this, you can learn what types of roles you like to take on within these organizations. Now, if you want to know what an aerospace engineering day in the life is really like, check out our epic aerospace engineering interview right here on the Seminist Network channel. Best of luck in picking the major that is right for you. Let me know in the comments below which one you're leaning more towards. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more STEM related content. Thanks for watching.